Okay, and our first talk today will be Zvi Shemkov, who will talk about arithmetic quantum unique ergodicity. Thank you. So uh, today I want to tell you about the uh, program of arithmetic quantum unique ergodicity uh, related to the distribution of uh, automorphic forms. So um, automorphic form uh, is a natural generalization of the exponential function, dx equals uh, e by i x, say uh, on the real line. Um, to define it uh, in a more abstract setting, we need uh, the homogeneous space uh, S of the big group uh, G. Just a close subgroup. And the uh, lattice uh, gamma in G simply means uh, that it is a discrete uh, subgroup of uh, finite co volume. And then an automorphic form is just uh, the function uh, F uh, from a space F, see, which is the periodic. With, with respect to the action of gamma, uh, just like the exponential mapping is periodic with the respect to the z action, and also f is an um, eigenfunction uh, of the ring of all uh, invariant uh, differential operators. And so, uh, you know, this ring by uh, D. So, for example, here, uh, the exponential uh, function is uh, invariant, is an eigenfunction of the Euclidean Laplacian. Uh, okay. Uh, so, to give a more a concrete uh, example of this setup, which is important for the lecture today. So uh, consider the symmetric space there, homogeneous space S of uh, the link group S and two R divided by S of two, the circle group. You can identify this with the hyperbolic couple of half lengths. We do it, we think of uh, this group as acting by uh, isometries, by these uh, transformations. You can take gamma, the lattice would be just SL2 uh, Z. So, of course, this is discrete since so it's discrete in R. And also, it, there is a well known uh, fundamental domain for this uh, action, it's like this. So, one can see that this is a hyperbolic uh, triangle with finite area. So, this is a lattice. And uh, in this case, uh, as well, the Ring of uh, uh, invariant uh, differential operators generating uh, is generated by the hyperbolic Laplacian. Uh, so, in this uh, example, it, uh, it is harder to describe the automorphic forms, certainly not uh, such a compact, uh, nice formula as that. And we are interested in the uh, Asymptotic uh, properties of these uh, functions when the eigenvalue is going to infinity. Uh, okay, so well, for the moment, keep this example in mind. So here's the, the basic uh, question. So suppose uh, Pj is a sequence of uh, automorphic forms. And we assume here that uh, they are integrable, uh, uh, and we normalize the n to norm. What? Uh, you know, space is uh, just n. Um, and we can define the probability measures uh, three j. And uh, uj okay. by taking the square uh, of the absolute value, 
uh, the volume. So the volume here is just the uniform uh, probability measure on this space. And now suppose that, and assume also that the eigen, the Laplace uh, eigen value is from infinity. Now suppose that, uh, so again, the question is how such a, a function distributes when the eigen value is uh, large. So now suppose that our sequence of measures uh, converges to a measure mu in the sense of the weak star uh, topology, which is just saying that the integral of a reasonable function properly supported f against this uh, measure the mu j converge to the integral of f against uh, the mu. <laughs> so now the, the, the question, and please, so what can be this limit measure uh, mu? So that's the basic question. Now, it turns out that uh, the answer to this uh, question is very much related to the behavior of the geodesic flow on the unit tangent bundle. Just to take a point here and a direction, and you start following the geodesic in this direction. And here is the fact. Uh, so one can lift to measure a mu, one measure you build on the unit tangent bundle. And the important property is that this measure you did is invariant under the geodesic flow. This is a very important uh, property and results. This is originally due to uh, Snellman in the 70s. And uh, so you see that this already puts uh, significant restrictions on our measure view. Now, based on some uh, chaotic properties of the geodesic flow here and some numerical uh, evidence, uh, Zayev Rudnik and Peter Sanna conjecture that the, the answer to, to this question it's actually very simple, and mu should just be the uniform measure. Uh, so, in fact, they conjectured uh, a very general uh, phenomenon. Uh, this is called the quantum unique logodicity conjecture. It tells you that whenever M is a compact uh, manifold of uh, negative. Uh, Sure. Then uh, such a limit measure mu must be the uniform on the So currently, the status of uh, this conjecture is that it's completely open in this generality, at least. So for any single manifold M uh, like this. Yeah, the, uh, no, they do not assume. Uh, Lecture. <laughs> I, I mean, it's up to interpretation. Uh, okay. Throughout all of the papers, they do only all the case, and then they conjecture such a general thing. Some people are still not compared. But we have a representative here. Um, okay, so currently, uh, in this reality, uh, it's open, but uh, there has been some progress on the, in, uh, in an arithmetic uh, setup. So, uh, arithmetic uh, quantum unique algorithm. So, um, so first of all, we call that this lattice that we define gamma. SLQZ is constructed uh, by what is called, but I, I recommend this. So, uh, we're using here the, the arithmetic object of in order to define it. In other words, this is the 
in the points of the algebraic book G equals SL2. This is called an arithmetic lattice or a congruence uh, lattice. And it turns out that in, in this situation, uh, there, there are other uh, operators uh, called Hecke operators. Uh, which are discrete uh, averaging operators coming from the arithmetic structure of the manifold. And the important property is that these like, operators commute with the Laplace, with the, with the ring of all the invariant differential operators. The space, so it makes sense to consider uh, joint eigenfunctions of both of these uh, algebras. So the arithmetic quantum linear obesity problem, since the question starts for uh, joint eigenfunctions of both. Uh, and the heck operators. Now, uh, for this question, the first uh, arithmetic quantum minical result from uh, from uh, <laughs> 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 Arithmetic quantum electricity for the uh, hyperbolic uh, surfaces. More precisely, he showed that the, the image measure uh, is proportional to the uniform uh, measure. Then later on, uh, Sandra Rajan eliminated the stability of the scale of mass in the non compact case. And he proved this using. Uh, something called a uh, measure agility uh, or uh, uh, diagonal actions <laughs> on uh, G Moldgar, mostly due to him as well. And so just as you can lift the limit measure to the unit uh, tangent bundle in the arithmetic setting here, it turns out that you can lift the limit measure if you measure on in, into this bundle, which is invariant under some diagonal uh, group. And uh, so those uh, measure rigidity results actually reduce the, uh, reduce the problem to so classify uh, measures that are in the diagram of flows and reduces the, the, the problem showing non localization uh, results. Localization results of those uh, eigenfunctions on G mod gamma. <laughs> so, for example, Already in the original work of uh, Rudnik and Sarnak, they show that uh, the limit measure geodesic uh, is uh, zero, for example, for the hyperbolic uh, surfaces. So I'll just finish with mentioning a recent result due to uh, me and uh, Leo Silverman. Um, So using analogous uh, non-localization results uh, in uh, three dimensions, we proved uh, the conjectures of arithmetic quantum mechanical symbolism for hyperbolic and three points. I'll stop here.
Yes. Uh, so uh, here, yes, for this note. Actually, uh, in this case, Nina uh, Schultz and the uh, books show that uh, one operator always enough. <laughs> and I uh, generalize this to higher rank. So, so you can use uh, the operators in only one place. But here, so here for the to show, for example, positive entropy results, it is also enough. And I think I know also how to do this using only one net operator. The escape of mass follows from sound. Uh, uh, more, yes, it's a muscle to students living more or less the same. Uh, Actually, we showed uh, something uh, even more general. So, uh, oh, this is two of a number of kids, so all that, so uh, H2, H3, yes. For example, the difficulty lies here. Uh, no. Okay, let's thank three again.